A spinning column of flame rises above the ground, catching burning debris and throwing it all around. It's known as a fire whirl that can grow into a fire tornado. It's 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit hot, as powerful as a regular tornado, and it won't stop before anything. It can burn up an entire village in a matter of seconds and can't be put down directly. Raging winds, thunderstorms, and hail. Powerful lightnings rushing your way from every direction. That's what a water spout is about. It's strong enough to sink ships in seconds, and that makes it perhaps the most devastatingly natural cataclysm on water. Those liquid tornadoes are so crafty, they aren't just born in storms, but also appear over perfectly calm open ocean. Watch out! Regular tornadoes moving at the speed of 250 miles per hour aren't any less dangerous. The sky becomes sinister dark with a shade of greenish. A funnel of crazily spinning air stretches from the thunderstorm and all the way to the ground. Hail the size of golf balls often comes with it. Sounds like a train approaching your way. It flips trucks and houses and nothing can stop it. All this happens when warm, humid air collides with cold, dry air. Huge masses of snow and ice rush down a mountain slope at a speed of cars going down the highway. There's no way to stop an avalanche or control it. When some unlucky fellow gets locked under it, they can rarely survive over an hour. Humans are to blame for 90% of all avalanches, but they're still unpredictable. The odds of getting struck by lightning are about one in a million in a lifetime. Those odds are much higher on Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela, also known as the lightning capital of the world. Here, thunderstorms burst the skies 300 days a year. Electrical bolts travel at the speed of 185,000 miles per hour. They're charged with 300 kilovolts and are way too risky for humans. A river of debris and mud, known as a mudslide, is rushing from a mountaintop onto the city. Long periods of heavy rains can be a warning sign of them, and the only way to protect yourself is to be alert and evacuate at the first signs of it. The most destructive mudslides are caused by erupting volcanoes and wildfires that eat up vegetation and free the road for mud and debris. The sea turns sinister red, and no living being can survive in it. Must be some dark magic. In fact, it's tiny algae that spread uncontrollably, giving the water this specific tint called the red tide. They have toxins that destroy sea mammals, birds, and turtles, as well as the creatures that feed on them. For humans, contact with it ends in breathing problems or seafood poisoning. After an earthquake or volcanic eruption, devastating debris and rocks turn entire towns into nothing. The name for this disaster is a landslide. Some of them rapidly move from the mountains. Others are slow, but are just as good at taking down property and lives. Every year, the damage they bring adds up to billions of dollars. Roads are often ruined, and fresh drinking water becomes a luxury. You're sitting in your home having breakfast, when suddenly the ground opens up and swallows it completely, leaving you only seconds to run away. Sinkholes happen when the water erodes underground rock layers. They can happen suddenly or form gradually and send warning signs. A sinkhole can also release toxic gases from under the ground, making it even more catastrophic. Sometimes, even huge ships sink in the open seas for no visible reason. The reason is often the pockets of bubbles that underwater volcanoes produce even while they're sleeping. Those productive magma factories are hidden under 8,500 feet of water. When they wake up, they act just like land volcanoes, and they can cause destructive tsunamis. When the winds and ocean currents turn into beasts, they have the power of moving entire walls of ice 30 feet tall onto land. It happens mostly in early spring, when the ice is thawing but hasn't melted yet. Nothing can stop those ice tsunamis on their way of destruction. On a fine summer evening of 1854, the American ship Shooting Star was on its way to Indonesia. Suddenly, the ocean in front of it turned white. Was it some mysterious sea monster, 
or maybe mermaid tricks? The sailors dubbed it Milky Sea. All that white glow was caused by billions of trillions of shiny bacteria in the water. And it still happens today. Powerful storms and cyclones can turn the sea into a giant bath filled with foam. When that foam moves ashore, it fills a whole town. Luckily, foamy storms are extremely rare. They might look harmless, but have the power of destroying property, causing floods, and taking lives. Plus, they bring a scary surprise of sea snakes on land. It spreads in a matter of minutes, covering huge areas with its hungry flames. A wildfire can reach the speed of 14 miles per hour, and it's easily the most feared natural disaster. It affects people's lives thousands of miles away, polluting the air and causing breathing problems. Even advanced technologies can't predict it, and controlling it is also near impossible. In the hottest and one of the driest places on Earth, Africa's Danakil Desert, temperatures often rise above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The out-of-this-world landscape has many active volcanoes and geysers that spit out toxic gases like chlorine and sulfur. The vibrantly green, electric blue, and yellow waters are all rain and seawater warmed up by magma. One wrong step here, and you'd be gone for good. When tectonic plates that make up the Earth's surface clash, waves of powerful energy get out. This is how an earthquake is born, also known as the most common and devastating natural phenomenon on this planet. Thousands of them happen every year, and as they cause tsunamis, landslides, fire, and famine, the damage is always huge. Fires bursting in the night sky, combined with multiple bolts of lightning coming out of it at the same time. A volcanic lightning is a spectacular fusion of flash and ash. Scientists are still guessing how it's born. Most likely, it's because there's a buildup of static electricity inside a volcano during eruption from friction of ash. Hundreds or even millions of birds, starlings, blackbirds, and whatnot, flock together in a sky dance. They seem to cover the entire sky, and the sun disappears when they rise. It's called a murmuration, and you're most likely to spot it in England. It won't do you much harm, unless you're in a plane that would have to reroute or make an emergency landing. No fun. When frozen methane in the Siberian permafrost melts, it transforms into gas, and boom! There's eventually so much of it, the ground explodes. It leaves behind huge craters, changing the ecosystem of tundra. No one knows when it's going to pass the point of no return. There's a bright red lake in Tanzania called Natron, and it seems serene and peaceful. But don't be fooled. The shallow waters of this place are so alkaline, they burn like sulfuric acid. In fact, any living being that's not adapted to such conditions is doomed. If you just want to see it, you won't be there too long. The odor of hydrogen sulfide it evaporates is unbearable. Well, that stinks. High in the sky near the poles in cold and dry air, there are colorful clouds that look somewhat like aurora borealis. The beams of the rising or setting sun are glowing through the clouds when they float above it. It looks gorgeous and harmless, but is in fact a factory for chemical reactions that slowly destroy the Earth's ozone layer. A wall of quickly moving sand, dust, and dirt covers the sky. It's hard to breathe and impossible to see a thing. Dust storms or sandstorms mostly happen in arid regions, bring lung problems, can carry spores of infections, and mess up the infrastructure. If it ever catches you driving, your best bet is to stop and wait for the storm to pass. There are things that look dangerous, but aren't so in the least. One example of this? Every once in a while, red rain falls in different parts of the world. It leaves behind a thin layer of reddish dust on cars and buildings. It looks sinister, but in fact can do you no harm. The sand it carries from the Sahara gives it this shade. Penitenti seem like creepy white fingers spread across high altitudes in places like the Atacama Desert in South America. 
In reality, they're made of snow and ice and are perfectly harmless. And this is a good place to stop. Nice to end on perfectly harmless.